This summer, a popular barbecue festival is returning to downtown Evingham following a pause last year. It's happening in your community, the Evingham Jam. And Evingham County Chamber of Commerce's president and CEO, Lucinda Hart, as well as membership director Becky Brown are here with all of the details. Welcome. We're excited you're here. Thank, Thank you, you for you having us. us. Okay, yeah. so before we get to talking about the Evingham Jam, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about your guys' role there at the Evingham County Chamber of Commerce and kind of what you all are about there in town. Sure. So I just recently joined the chamber in officially in April. So I took over Norma Lansing's position that she was the president and CEO for, oh goodness, over 40 years. Oh, wow. So you've got big shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about how the Chamber of Commerce kind of gets businesses going and get plugged into the community. Yeah, so we have several programs and services and we help, uh, you know, businesses new businesses that are starting out are interested in, hey, I want to start up a business and what do I need to do? And we are established businesses with networking, programming services. You know, we have uh, some workforce development initiatives going on through the uh, Chambers Foundation, because we do have a foundation as well. And um, so, yeah, we have lots of, um, of course, networking, um, educational services for our members. And one way to draw a crowd to these businesses are by bringing in these fun events. So we are so excited that the Effingham Jam <laughs> is back. So yes. did we take a little hiatus last year? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. But it's back now, yes. bigger and better than ever. So I've never really heard of, like, a barbecue festival with Pam and Jam or something <laughs> around that. So tell me a little bit about this event. Yeah, so it, on Friday, July 23rd is when we will kick off uh, with our hometown throwdown, which is a, a barbecue, um, basically a contest yeah. of local teams. And it's a corporate challenge as well. So we will start off the evening with um, some entertainment and we our feature entertainment is um, Loose Lips, so a pretty famous uh, band from Nashville. So wow. uh, yeah, so we're excited about that. One, our, uh, one of uh, the, the members of the band is from Effingham. So we're excited about that. Miles, nice to have yeah, a, a yeah. local connection yeah, yeah. to the group. And I'm sure they're gonna be excited to come perform for their community here yes. in town. So there's other things happening as well. Yes, um, other than the hometown throwdown, uh, which she mentioned is Friday night. <laughs> Um, Saturday morning, we will actually have the farmer's market, which will be open from 8 to noon. Um, we also are going to have open mic, which are local bands that will be performing. That will go from 11 to 3. Um, the actual KCBS competition will begin at noon and go till 2 o'clock. And then the awards for their competition will be at 4. Is so. there still time to enter that competition, or are all the spots Filled. No, they're um, right now um, to have a sanctioned contest, you have to have 25. Um, Ooh, okay. We're pretty much there. Um, we have had 39 professional teams oh um, before. Um, so we still have openings for that. Um, the entry fee is $250. Um, then we do have openings for the hometown throwdown as well. Um, that one is only $50, but they have a chance to win $250 cash prize. Um, both the Hometown Throwdown and the KCBS competitions will receive um, butcher blocks, which are donated by John Bowes and Company. Yes, so. which is right there local as <laughs> well. We featured yes. them before. Well, it's all happening in July, yes? yes? Yes. Okay, Friday, July 23rd and Saturday, July 24th. It's going to be a fun evening of barbecue tasting, music, and more <laughs> at the Effingham Jam. <laughs> I love it. That's such a great play on words. And yes. we wish you the best of luck with that. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. There's all the information on your screen there, as well as their Facebook page, which you can go give a like and learn more. And we'll have all of that on our website, CILiving.tv.